I bought some crystals that I'm pretty sure are fake, so we're gonna run some tests and see how they hold up. Safety first. This was being sold as ruby zoocyte, so the first thing we can check is to see if the ruby is UV reactive. Okay, that checks out, right? Well, don't be fooled, because it's really easy to make a UV reactive dye. A lot of the time, a cheaper material is dyed to make it look like a more expensive stone. A strong solvent like acetone should be able to affect it. But there's nothing on my cotton swab. Did I get it wrong? The thing is, sometimes these stones are heated before applying the dye, or even boiled. This ensures that the dye penetrates deep into the stone and won't be that easy to get out. But after 10 minutes of soaking, we can finally see this fake revealing its true colors. If you look closely, you'll notice that the coloration on this piece is quite patchy. Compare it to a genuine ruby zoocyte, and you'll see that the color distribution in those green sections is really solid. You can also see this comparison under the UV light, and there are definitely no white patches in the red sections, because even the patches that seemed a bit blurry are a very solid red under the UV light. And that makes our hot pink imposter look like a bit of a mess.